Hello, good morning, students. I hope all of you are fine, happy, healthy. All right, so it's a beautiful day. Today, we are going to talk about occupation. So, <clears throat> page number 92, we are going to start. So, unit number five. Unit five is skilled work. So we already talked about skilled work. So we have different type of skills which we can adopt. It can help us to make our life more easier. So in this unit, we already talked about repairing equipments, tools, and appliances. So we talk about some of the uh, skills, how we can adopt to repair our equipments and tools. So here we are going to talk about the safety measure. First of all, so most of the repairing uh, tools and equipments, we use different type of glues. So while we are using all these uh, repairing glues, so we have to make sure that we make safety first. So you should be careful. We you should be careful when using adhesives to stick material, equipment, or tools, especially super glue. This one here, a super glue, right? So because it is very difficult to wash off if it stuck or it sticks to your hand. So while you are going to repair uh, your tools or equipment or shoes or any sort of stuff you would like to repair and you're using the super glue so make sure that uh, don't put it on your hands because once it's uh, stick with your hands so it's very difficult to remove it so always have to take care of the safety and these are all some of the different types of glues like uh, we have a uh, latex glues normal glue right and super glue along with the glue gun so each type of glue they are used for different uh, repairing materials all right so now we're gonna move towards the benefits of repairing equipment tools and appliances so if we are able to repair our stuff, our equipment, tools and appliances, so it will benefit us in our day-to-day -day life. So here are some of the following benefits of repairing equipment, tools and appliances. Number one, first benefit, spend free time usefully. So if we have like a, in our day-to-day -day life, we having free time, and that free time we spend on repairing our uh, equipment tools so we can utilize the time. So free time usefully spend. Second benefit is be able to reuse materials like uh, the tools, uh, the stuff or any sort of materials which are useless. So if we are able to repair it, so those material we can use either materials equipment and tools so it will be ready to use and use for extended time number three save money from hiring people to repair items or buy new materials equipment and tools so if we are able to repair all of the material and equipment so we no need to hire people to repair repair for us and we can save money number four benefit use repaired material equipment and tools safely so if we are able to repair all type of material and equipment so those uh, tools it can be used safely like it won't harm ourselves so it will be safe to use number five develop the skill of fixing materials 
equipments and tools. So if we practice uh, the repairing uh, uh, of uh, equipments and tools, so actually it uh, develop our skills. So we will be able to do our own work by ourselves. So it will make us independent and it can develop our skills. Benefit number six, create a beginning point to be developed as a professional career in the future. So as like uh, for every professional, they're having a starting point, the beginner. So once we start to uh, repair our stuff or the equipments or tools in our house. So if we are into those uh, repairing skill, so probably in the future, we can make it as a professional career as well. Like as the time passes and do we do more practice so we can develop our skill and it can lead towards an opportunity of a professional career in the future. So these are some of the six basic uh, benefits of repairing equipment, tools and appliances. Now, safety. So safety is actually very important. Safety when repairing equipment, tools and appliances. So here we having the, the following guideline for repairing equipment, tools and appliances. What we have to make sure that we don't harm ourselves or avoid any sort of accident. So we have to make sure safety first. So the guideline here we having first one, check whether the required material equipment and tools are ready. So before we use any material or equipment or tools, first we have to make sure that it is ready to use or is it safe to use? So first we have to make sure that uh, the equipments and materials are all ready to use in a 100% working form. Number two, be careful while working. So we have to make sure that we focus with the open mind on the things we are going to do, perform the repairing. So we have to make sure do all of the work carefully. Okay, so to avoid accident. Number three, Avoid accidents by storing materials, equipment, and tools properly after use. So once we are finished with our job and the equipments and the tools what uh, we are using, so we have to store it in a proper way, in a proper place. Don't put it here and there because it can cause accident to us. So we have to make sure avoid accidents by storing material in proper place after we used. Number four, tell a teacher or adult immediately if you hurt yourself. So being a kid, if you are going to <clears throat> uh, perform anything and while using any type of equipments and tools, so if you hurt yourself, so don't hesitate to tell your elder or your teacher or your adults that you hurt yourself so they can uh, they can help you with the first aid so always have to make sure safety first so safety is very important for all of us so these are some of the basic uh, safety guidelines while you are repairing equipment, tools, and appliances. Okay, now here we're having activity. So the activity is about repairing equipment, tools, and appliances. So first of all, we're having two different type of situations, okay? So we're having situation number one and situation number two. So both situation we have to read carefully and then we are going to answer the question. So situation number one, the sole of Nadi's shoes came loose. She used glue to stick the soles 
back. She waited for the glue to dry before using her shoes again. So this situation, <clears throat> uh, that is actually her sole, the bottom, the bottom of the shoes, it actually has been loose, it came loose. So what did she did? She put actually glue to stick it together and then wait for it to get it dry. And after getting dry, she can use it again. So this is one situation. Now, second situation we have a person, the soles of Camon's shoes came loose. So the second person, she is Camon's, right? So Camon's shoes came loose and he decided to throw them away and asked his father to buy him a new pair. So in the situation number two, common shoes are actually uh, sole of the common shoes become loose. So he decided to throw, to don't, he decided to not repair it and throw away and ask his father to buy him a new pair of shoes. So these are the two different situations. Now, look at the question here. So the question we have, whose idea it was best, Nadis or Kamons, and why? So according to the situation, Nadis uh, idea was the best because she recognized the value of her belongings and refused her shoe and reused her shoes. Why? Because she was able to uh, repair her shoes and that those shoes, she can use it for a longer period of time, for extended time. So she no need to spend a lot of money to buy new shoes. So those shoes she can reuse again and again. And uh, her, Nadi's, her situation was the best. Her idea was the best because she were able to repair her shoes and no need to purchase new, new shoes. So she no need to spend more money on buying new shoes. But in the second situation, common situation, his idea was not good because he refused to repair the shoes and he had to ask his father to buy new shoes. So the father had to spend more money. So with the help of repairing our uh, equipment, tools, appliances, or our daily things, what we are using, if we can repair it, so we can use it for extended time and we can save our money. Now, <clears throat> Here are some of the uh, different type of damages and then the different methods of repairing. So on the left side, we having the types of damages and on the right side, we having the type, the method to repair. So we have to match it. So it's already been matched, right? You can match exactly in the same manner in your books. Okay, students. So I'm going to explain like the so situation, damage number one, pieces of plywood falling off from boxes made of plywood. So the plywood is, we know it having the layers. So if it is actually the pieces has been uh, falling off. So what method we have to use? We have to use latex glue. We have to use latex glue to stick it back, right? So the method for repairing of plywood, the best method is use of latex glue. Damage number two, Loosen, loose connection between the hammer head and handle. So if we find ourselves that uh, the hammer actually, the head is become loose. So what method we have to do? So we have to tighten it by wedging. With the help of wedging, we have to make sure that it's been tight and then we can use it for extended time and also avoid any type of 
uh, accident. Third type of damage, loose joint and clippers. So the clippers, the hair, the clipper actually, they've been joined, right? So sometimes we find it's become loose. So how we can uh, repair it? So the best method to repair is tighten it by using a witch or plier. So with the help of which we just need to tighten the nut or either with the help of plier, we can also tie it the nut. So the clipper, it will be more, uh, it will become like more tighter. The damage number four, jamming joint of pliers. So if you find the pliers, the joint actually, if it is jammed, hard to pull it. So what we have to do, we have to apply oil right here. This is the best method to apply oil into the joint and try using until it works. So we are going to apply the oil and try to use it until it work properly. Number five. Number five. Pieces of leather falling off a bag. So if we find pieces of leather falling off bag so what we have to do we have to use the method that use glue to stick them back so as we have different type of glue so we can use the glue and put it around the leather and then try to stick them back so these are some of the type of uh, damages and the method of repairing it so number one match Number four, right? Number two, number one, match. Number four, second type of uh, damage, match. Number three, type of uh, repairing method. And third type of damage, match. First, right here. And the fourth, type of damage, match, met, fifth type of repairing method. And if we find the fifth type of damage, so it will match right here. So this is how you can match in your books as well. All right, so here uh, in this activity, actually you have to perform by yourself, but for your information students, I already write down some of the answers. So what you have to do, you have to find a name, a piece of equipment, tools or appliances in your house that has been damaged and then recommend the appropriate method of repair in the form below. So in your book, you had to write down about any equipment or any tools or appliances in your house, which has been damaged. And then you have to find the method, like what method you use to repair it. And then you write down uh, the appropriate recommendation in here in the record form. Like for example, number one, the equipment tool and or appliances that was damaged in your house. So if you are going to repair any type of uh, equipment, appliances or tool in your house, so what is the name of that tool or equipment? You just need to write down. So for example, I repair a hammer, right? So I write down the name, a hammer. Now, number two, the damage on this equipment tool or implants was, so you have to mention here what type of damage was happened to the equipment or tool. So for example, uh, a hammer, what I was going to repair. So the damage was loose connection between the hammer head and handle. So I find out that the hammer and the handle, it was actually loose. So you have to write down your own, uh, your own uh, damage type to the equipment. 
Number three, what you have to, <clears throat> you have the goal of repairing this damage on the equipment tools or appliances. So what is the goal to repair that equipment? So my goal was tighten it to be, tighten it to use safely. Number four, how did you achieve the goal? So you had to write down uh, the way, how did you achieve the goal? So for example, I repair a hammer head, which was loosened with the handle. So by tightening it with the help of wedging, by edging, by wedging, right? So I write down here, tighten it by wedging. So you can write down your own uh, achievement goal as well. So this you have to try by your own, any type of equipment, whenever you find to repair. So you just write down the name of that uh, equipment and the type of damage, what was happened, and then how was the goal uh, to repair it and how did you achieve your goal? So now we are going to summarize the idea of repairing equipment. What is the main uh, idea why we had to repair our equipments and tools. So, number one, the principles of repairing equipment, tools, and appliances. Number one, learn how to repair correctly before repairing. So, first of all, we have to learn how we are going to repair our stuff, our equipments. First, learn and then implement the way how we are going to repair. Number two, repair immediately when found the damage. So whenever you found any type of damage in the uh, uh, equipments or tools, so make sure do it, repair it immediately. Don't wait for extended time because if you leave it for a longer period of time, probably it will become unrepairable. So make sure repair it immediately. Number three, check its condition after repairing. So once you are done with uh, your repairing, so make sure how is the condition of those equipments. So if you follow these principles, if you do, so what will be the result? The result will be that those materials and equipments or uh, those equipments, tools or appliances, it can be used it again and again so can use it again if you don't do right if you don't do if you don't repair your tools so what will be the result the result will be you have to buy new ones that means you have to spend more money all right now come to question number five so we have to answer the questions by ticking uh, in the right box to the correct answer. So question number one, we have, how would you feel if you repair equipment, tool and appliances by yourself? So how will you feel once you repair your old stuff? So number one option, proud, two, nothing, three, unhappy. So the best answer is proud because you must be proud of yourself that, okay, you, were able to repair your equipments. Number two, question number two, repairing damage on equipment, tools and appliances by yourself show that you have which of the following <clears throat> desirable characteristics. So the first one, focusing at work. Second one, love of being Thai. Third, living sufficiently. So, <clears throat> The best answer is living sufficiently. That means you are independent. You can do all of your work by yourself and you can help yourself all the time. That means you will live independently. You will live sufficiently. So these are some of the <clears throat> important ideas about the uh, repairing all type of equipments, tools, and appliances. What we learn today. So I hope you guys have uh, tried your own skills to develop your own skills of repairing.
So that's all for today. See you again. Bye-bye.